Hi everyone, I have a very special guest because not only do I need to learn how to cut things, but it's my birthday <laughs> and I really wanted to bring my dear friend April who is a trained chef. Look yes. at this fancy chef. <laughs> what is this, a chef jacket? Chef it cut? is, it is. I received it when I graduated from the Culinary Institute of America no. many moons ago. Yes, <laughs> this is the first time you've worn it in a while? Yes, quite a bit. <laughs> <laughs> 10, 15 years, maybe 10. It's been a while. I don't I actually chef anymore, just, just for my wife. But for uh, me too, and this cooking <laughs> yeah. show that we have, well, I feel so honored that you put on the jacket um, for this special edition because apparently my cutting skills stresses people out. So <laughs> <laughs> I want to learn how to cut things appropriately. Uh, so we got some things to cut, carrots, onions, Good. parsley, zucchini. Uh, I guess the first thing is to talk about our knives. Okay. So I, I had her bring knives. This is what I got. I don't even know if I'm cutting. Let's start with an okay. onion. Start with an onion. Okay. Perfect. All right. So you would want to use like a chef knife, vegetable knife. A vegetable like knife. So. A chef. Is so this this? Something similar. Yes. That's, that will work. Perfect. Yes. Okay. That's perfect. Cool. I love it. And then you could use a sharpening tool. Do you have one of these? Yes. I've never used oh, it. Oh, excellent. How do I okay. use this? So this is how you're going to do it. You're gonna start from here to here, and we're gonna go from there to there. So the blade goes this way. Yep, oh, that and then so comes this side. <laughs> same side, yeah. or same direction. The same direction, yep. That's how you sharpen things. Yeah, just a couple times. It just, what it does is it realigns the hairs of the knife. Do you do this every time before you cut? Um, I do it, I mean, if you're cutting a ton, you could definitely, do it a couple times throughout like an hour. Oh, wow. Um, okay, cool. But I would definitely use it before you start anything in general. Perfect. So. Okay. Well, now I will use that. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, you're welcome. All right, so yeah. the best way to cut an onion. I hate cutting okay. onions. I learned right. that the same thing that makes your eyes cry, I mentioned this, it's the same thing like in pepper spray and all of that. So, oh. I mean, is it's probably there an easy way to prevent that? Uh, contacts. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. no, I don't have those. Okay. <laughs> so, um, all right, let's start. Maybe we save the onion for last. It's up to let's you. Let's do that. Let's okay. save that. Let's do it. All right, I got you. I'll get you the prettier oh, carrot. Good. All right. All right. All how right. would I do this? So, with the carrot, well, first of all, we should probably teach you how to actually hold a knife and oh. your fingers. Oh. Which That's is. A thing. It is. Okay, okay, cool. So if you remove the carrot just for a second from the board. Yeah. What you want to do is you're holding the knife like so, kind of in your hand, which is right. You don't want to chop your fingers off, right? So you would never chop with your fingers out. Okay. Right. So the knife is going to be like bordered against the fingers here. So you want to move the product back and the knife stays on like by, right by the knuckle. Got it. As okay. you as you chop or slice or whatever. Perfect, okay. So that protects your fingers. I love that. And I've cut my thumb off before, not doing that. Oh no, okay. In culinary school. I'm so. surprised I haven't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so cool. with a carrot, we could do some basic dicing. You, you can remove each end, just normally. Yeah, perfect. Okay. And then you can flip it around, do the same on this side. Doesn't matter where your fingers are right now. All right, so let's, let's just divide what yours is Let's divide it into like threes to okay. make it easy. Okay, so just into thirds. Okay, then you can kind of move these out of the way so they don't get in your way. And then from here, we could just cut down the middle lengthwise. Oh, Watch your fingers. <laughs> Knuckles. Yeah, it's a little. Got tight. it. Okay, then we could turn it this way. Now you're gonna slice again across okay. this way, long, long way. So come here, and then as you do that, you could just kind of like, you could dig your nails into this carrot, which is okay, it won't get your fingers. And you just move the product and the knife together. Oh, there you go. Okay, yeah. that was easy. Talk to me oh. about a zucchini. So we, this one, we could actually do a little bit larger okay. of a dice, or we could do like half moons. So it'll be very similar to kind of the carrot. You always chop off the ends here. And then if we want, we can go straight long ways again. Um, and this one we can make just a tad bigger, right? So let's call it like almost a large dice. So I'll come on each side and then I'll turn it here and we could just do something that's a little bit bigger. Boom, easy. Oh. So then you could saute this with some onion and Is there any way I should be holding oil. it like right here? Does this like... Do no, yeah, don't, don't do, do that. Don't okay. do this. Yeah. Right. You want to hold the knife. Like this? Yeah. Okay, so thumb on top. Okay, perfect. Yeah. All right, let's do some parsley yeah. together. I was excited that you asked for parsley because I love Yes, because a lot parsley. of people, you should, you should, it's really funny, especially to watch my dad 
chop a bunch of parsley at once. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. So what I do is, if I want to go super fast, which I do a lot of times, um, I'll actually just take this and like kind of leave the stem. So take this and just kind of rip it. Yeah. Got and you it. can just put those aside. Okay. Me. Got it. Now with this, you're gonna kind of bunch it together. Oh, it smells so good. I know. And here, let's practice those knuckles down. So that, like that? Yeah. Okay. We're going to rough, the whole idea is to rough chop it first. Okay, okay. cool. So you're just going to come and just kind of bring it along your knuckles and rough chop it. <laughs> good. That's good. <laughs> okay. I mean, it takes time. I know we did knife skills for years in culinary school, so. Okay. All right, so you always cut through, I don't know. This even, top guy? Yes. Okay, yeah. perfect. Where you it always cut, Yeah, you always cut through there first. Okay, so let's cut through there. Oh, I missed Okay, were well, you close? It's all right. Okay. Take the smaller half, it's a little easier. Okay. And then put the other one to the side. All right. Okay, now from here, you're gonna cut almost at a diagonal. We're gonna get rid of both the ends. Okay. So just a little bit of diagonal, good. And then same on the other side. Good, okay. Now you're gonna peel it just with your hands. Okay. Oh, this is so much fun. <laughs> I'm so glad you're doing this. I love my birthday. <laughs> I'm getting old, April, I'm 31. Oh yeah, well, at least you're not 40. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, right, so what are we looking for? Do we want slicing? So Do we I want usually, dicing? What's, what's Yeah, what I mean, for? onions for me, I, have, I want it over as fast as possible. So okay. I think I avoid like usually like two slices and I'm good because I'm like, I just can't even. So I would okay. love to learn how to make it smaller, like not so big. Not so all, big. It's okay. always big because I want it over with. Okay. So okay. we'll dice it. We'll dice it. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to make slices across the onion here, here, here. And I'll show you. Okay, so you're going to come across. So about there, not all the way through, because you need to hold the onion together. Okay, okay? got it. And then you're going to do that again. Okay. okay. And you're going to do it again. Okay. And you're going to do it one more time if you have the room. Okay, I do. Cool. Oh. Cool. Uh oh. That's okay. Okay. Yeah, it's all right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stuck. Okay. Now it. we're going to flip it this way. Now we're going to slice it all the way across. And you want it, if you want a pretty small dice, you want to try and keep those slices pretty close together. Okay. okay. I also don't smell the onion. Like this is not. So it's okay? Yeah, it's okay. This is a first. So what I do is I'll slice it. Now this one you do want to go all the way through. So I'll, I'll hold each, I'll hold the end of it. Okay. As I slice. That feels like an advanced move, but I'm going to go okay. for it. <laughs> all right, I got one. So you're going to go all the way across. I think I'm going to come back over here. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Whatever's easier okay. for you. Try and keep it together, though. Oh. So you want to try and keep the whole onion in one in little it. spot. Yep. Okay, got it. Okay, good. There got go. it. You, can, you, can use, you can always like I get why you readjust. need hands on both sides. There though. we go. Good. Good. Nice. The zoom in is okay. making me nervous. Like, <laughs> no, it's okay. It's good. Okay. I like pressure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Brad. You're That's good. good. Okay. 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 Now you're gonna turn it this way just a tad. Okay. Let me catch yeah, up. You catch up and show All us right. how it's done. So. That's so pretty. Okay. So then we're here. Now this is where the fun part comes. Oh. Oh, look, it's already there. Oh my God, this is the smallest I've ever, ever had an onion. Dice, this is so pretty. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, well, and I don't even feel it in my eyes. Good. That's there amazing. You go. Ah. That's good for your first time. Well, and then if you have stragglers, like this little guy. you could just bring them in and kind of do the same thing you do with the, with parsley. the parsley. Yeah, you could just ah, dice them up a little bit more. This is perfect. Yeah. So yeah. Hey girl, there thanks you go. for teaching me how to cook. Yeah. Or I guess dice. Yeah. Right. We'll have you come back on and we can do some pasta stuff. There we go. You're now nice. we're talking. Yeah. <laughs> well, happy early Merry Christmas to all of you guys. Happy birthday to me and all yeah, my Sagittarius Capricorns out there. And I'll see you guys next Monday.